Reflections of a Diasporic Nanai. One, I'm woman, I'm alive, I'm cat calls and hey baby at age seven, 16, 29, even while pregnant or with toddler in tow, I am men running across the street to ask me for my name or my number or to follow me to my destination, pretending to be polite while threatening my safety, demanding attention, a smile, eye contact and conversation. Two, I am immigrant and diaspora, wrapped in blue passports and naturalization papers, masking foreign birth certificates and immunization records. I am searching for my place in a post-colonial era while negotiating privilege and power, culture and citizenship. Three, I am mother, I am life, I have journeyed across the ocean to bring my child home so that he may walk on our ancestral lands, breathe in our native tongues, and feel the pulse of the earth beating in his soil-stained skin. I'm raising my son to fight against the notion that women are lesser than or incomplete. We women are thunder thighs and power, glory and might dripping with resilience and strength from having to survive our sisters who were burned at the stake or drowned in the river. Our babies snatched from our bosoms in the name of civilization, our wombs made sterile without consent, our bodies cut open without anesthesia for the advancement of Western medicine. Our girls who go missing without a trace or a search party, the refusal of media to say her name. But we women are agents of change who protest dams in an equal pay state-sanctioned violence and unjust laws, corporate bullies and imperial machines. We are not afraid. We will not keep quiet. We are not the submissive servants patriarchy has pigeonholed us to be. We are loud and bold with fire in our eyes and our hearts on the floor. We are chanting and marching, dancing and singing in the streets and our homes and our offices and markets and schools and jail cells and in places of business, we are making our presence known.